it is sin what is imbalance failure to embrace and communicate the whole counsel of god acts chapter 20 please give us verse 27 and 28 acts chapter 20 from verse 27 to 28 for i have not shown to declare unto you all the counsel of god is that in your bible Paul is saying, I stand by God. I did not, I did not trivialize any dimension. He says, take heed therefore unto yourselves. He's charging them now. And to the flock over which the Holy Ghost has made you overseers. To feed the church of God which he purchased with his own blood. Please look up. Imbalance is where there is an exaggeration and the stretching of a dimension of kingdom truth beyond its jurisdiction of relevance you want to understand imbalance you have to study cooking in making a meal it's not the same quantity of rice that you will have for salt is that true for a plate of rice you may need a pinch or two pinches of salt and that is enough by the time you have one mudu of rice and one mudu of salt and join them together what have you done the ingredients are there but not to that degree or by the time you cook a nice delicious rice and then you ignore salt imbalance it is the reason why believers in our world today have not been able to rise to that stature remember the bible says we are kings and priests i submit to you that the church in africa has emphasized on the priesthood dimension we have done well in terms of prayer consecration like i'm doing so the average believer in nigeria and africa is not naive as to their spiritual development that priesthood part we have gotten it well but the kingly part there is a lot of ignorance among believers that is the reason why we cannot dominate the mountains and bring glory to the lord that is why believers can be praying in tongues while politically and sociologically we become victims of situations and circumstances this was the problem between Cain and Abel. If you study the Bible, Abel understood priesthood, but Cain built a city and named it after his son. Are we together now? Notice that every time in the Bible you see the building of cities, it was the spirit of the Antichrist. Most believers stopped at just understanding priesthood. Jesus, when he came, he began to teach and say, listen, I am sending you as sheep among wolves. The average believer is ignorant as how to bring the kingdom of God, the kingdom come project. We have no idea. Ask the average believer, what do we do as far as establishing the program of God? The only thing they will tell you is let's pray, let's study the scripture, let's live a holy life. And that is wonderful, that is priesthood. But the Bible says we have been made unto our God, kings and priests. If you are a priest alone, you will do well behind the veil. But if you come into the cosmos, you will not be able to thrive. The whole counsel of God. There is holiness and consecration like you are receiving tonight. There is the revelation of God's word. There is the prayer ministry. There is a place for system building and leadership. There is a place for intelligence, knowing how to occupy the secular space. I don't have time. I would have shown you from scripture how Israel became a great nation. Israel did not become a great nation just by priesthood alone. Uh -uh. Are we together? They were in Egypt. They did not abort their priesthood, but they did not understand the kingly dimension, and so they remained slaves. So we have many believers who are sincere, but they cannot pay the school fees of their children. We have many believers who are sincere, but they cannot access finances to build the building. No. The whole counsel of God the lack of it is what has created the lopsidedness in the church of God. So I can stand right now as a man of God. And because I'm preaching, you are coming to bless me. The name of what I'm doing is value. Even if it is spiritual, it is still the law of value. And because I am dispensing value, whether I am selling it or giving it free, the law demands that there will be a reward. So you come and honor me. 
but what of you if i do not empower you how will i ask you to give it is fraudulent to not empower you and equip you with the truths of the gospel and then keep demanding from you i will never be a man of god that will exaggerate a dimension of kingdom growth at the expense of others let me show you something we're wrapping up are you learning one scripture and then we begin to pray goodness acts chapter 18 from verse 24 to 26 the bible talked about a certain jew named apollos the bible says he was born at alexandria an eloquent man notice this man's credentials an eloquent man mighty in scriptures he came to ephesus verse 25 this man was instructed in the way of the lord so he was not a rebel he was mentored being fervent in spirit he spake and taught diligently the things of the lord but his only problem was he knew only how many of us preach very well but we know only how many of us do business very well but we know only respectfully speaking there are some of us men of god we are fervent like this but we know only administration we know only financial principles and stopping there is imbalance there are some of us who know only priesthood principles of prayer fasting consecration and the word of god some of us only we understand spiritual growth and the rest some of us only we know government when everybody brings their only and we embrace it it will now bring completion are we together now if i begin to teach you only business only financial principles and your spiritual life is going down while you are prospering that is imbalance you may be rich but you will go to hell it will destroy you can i tell you this we must stop criticizing dimensions that we do not understand or are not captured within the frame of our training my job as a man of god is to be efficient as far as the dimension of the kingdom committed to me is concerned but to have a healthy appreciation knowing that i know only no matter how much i know i know only that limitation was brought about by god himself so that we will embrace the entirety of the body so when i teach about the body of christ i teach about the fact that god has invested diversities of graces it is not everything that i know and have today and that you are receiving that came from the core of my call there are many dimensions that were not captured in my training i have to outsource them through honor to other vessels within the body are we together